Last thing, we usually try to get our nose blocking in right after we put our frame down, just because all this 5200 in here is still wet. And rather than having to dig it out later, we just get our blocking in. So this is our nose blocking for our fish, keel edge, frame edge. Take that, we make a couple cedar pieces that match the outside of the board. Just to save a little weight, we cut out that inner corner. Um, one thing to note is the grain on these blocks, we want it running perpendicular to your planks. And that's so this can flex just a little bit in with the rocker of the board. If the grain was running this way, these would, these would be a little stiff. All right, so we're gonna install some nose blocking here, but before we do that, it's a little bit easier to establish the final thickness of the board at the nose. So we're gonna remove this sacrificial bump and bring it down to the line. And we're either gonna use a Japanese saw to cut that off, or we'll use a block plane and just shave it down. All right, so Right after you put your chine in, um, it's a good idea to put your second level blocking in. Um, on a board like this on the wherry, we're basically trying to bring your blocking up and bring it up to the height of uh, frame number one. Um, so the second level is a little wider because it actually overlaps the chine and comes all the way to the outside of the chine edge. Um, we've cut it off here at the nose just because we're already above the height of the keel. So we figured why add it and we have to remove it. So we just kept it a little short. 